Hello everyone, it's me once again. Today I'm going to show you how to automatically delete your Google data. Okay, so this is quite a useful option where you can decide how long YouTube will keep your search results or your personal data so that um, I guess mainly for those who are paranoid that Google, you're worried that Google might um, use these data against you you can delete the whole thing but for me i like to keep certain data under my google so i can search the relevant document in a quick time quick moment time but why do i need to delete beyond 18 months or beyond three months well i guess 18 months ago what i searched for will not be relevant to me now uh, while as the past three months will be more closer so i could actually concentrate on those data if you see what i mean so i could concentrate on the latest interest of what i have so i think that's a very good thing to have i believe this was recently released um, so let's get on to it so what you need to do is um, you go to the Google search box make sure by the way you're logged into your Google account so you can see my logo here um, and um, you type in Google activity and once you search that on your search box you'll see this welcome to my activity Google this is the my activity dashboard okay so click on that and then you'll see these uh, arrangements of everything but ignore that for the moment but on the left hand side top you'll see three lines okay so you need to click on that one and then choose activity controls okay so you click on the activity controls and what you're going to get is mainly the three menus that you can change uh, the first one will be the web and activity you can manage that activity what i have done is i change it to um, choose how long to keep so I change it to keep for three months um, of my Google data for my web and app search so that Google will be more uh, sending me more relevant information of what recent search I like to search for and etc. The second one um, that I could show you is the location history. Um, I like to keep it as it is so I'm, I'm not going to touch that but you could do the same thing. Um, and the YouTube history, which I think is very interesting. You can manage that activity and I would like to get my main latest interest feed on my homepage, YouTube homepage. So I, what I need to do is the same thing, go to choose how long to keep, click on that, keep for three months, which I have changed and then click on next. And voila, that's it pretty much. Okay, so that's all been changed. Um, but you can actually also um, personalize your ad. So let's say if you go to ad search, uh, you can change all the keywords of the news feed of what you, what you like to get and, um, and, and et cetera mainly. So um, these are the things I wanted to let you guys know so you could have more uh, vital information, more latest interest of what you like to search for. But I understand this was recently available uh, so that you can enjoy searching your um, interest on Google and etc. So anyway, thank you very much for watching this video. Please subscribe. And if you have any other queries, please do comment below. All the best. Bye bye.